and prima facie invention was one senator from New Jersey State Republic and both senators from 11 Southern State Republics, which were titled, which would, which would uh, amount to uh, 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 essentially 22 more. Conditional fact. An amendment proposed by the Congress must be ratified by three-fourths of the state republics of the United States Republic. Already is already disqualified. You see the point? Furthermore, when the 14th Amendment was presented or proposed, only 37 states were in the Union. Now, in June of 1866, the 14th Amendment was sent for ratification to the states. 22 states voted yay. 13 states rejected the 14th Amendment and voted nay. So I present to you the congressional records and the facts for your reasoning and fundamental math. Is the 14th Amendment ratified? It is not. Is it law? It is not. It's a fraud. Now, key. Now, um, I'm going to get a few minutes. Then I'm going to entertain brother. Then you can present your question. Then you can present your question. But I'm, I'm setting this up because I want you to, I want you to understand why we're talking this. Now, this goes back deeper. We can go into older history because this is a modern foundation of actually activities from the popes of Rome. Don't mistake it and think that you're talking founding father type stuff. This goes back further than you think it does. The deal of it is you've just been asleep. Do you understand? Rome didn't stop working just because we went to sleep. Our sleep was part of the plan. Are you clear? That's why Nova Drali came to wake you up to your inherited birthright. But you don't have to claim it if you don't want to, but you must be told. Because the things that are getting ready to happen, it is unjust if you're not told. Do you understand? Which means everybody has to have a chance to honor their mothers and fathers because there's going to be death and blood letting you know already. Do you understand? And it's coming soon. Don't look for no Jesus is coming, it's all gonna be peaceful and everything, because they ain't come with flowers, it's coming with a sword. And it's for real, and it doesn't matter whether you believe it or not. So don't think that I'm trying to make you believe anything, because I'm not really interested in you believing anything. I'm just giving you opportunity. It's called justice. So nobody can't say they weren't told. In other words, we're blowing the horn. No, oh, I didn't hear that. Well, fine. No argument later. All right? You must understand, because you've already told what, what is lawful ratification and what is not. We prove to you with the record that it is not ratified, which means it is not law. So you understand why anybody who's called Negro, Black, and Colored, that the House and the Senate has to propose it again for them to even vote, and they still ain't figured out they're still being played with. So do we need to argue that? No, the evidence is there. However, you'll see black leader guys keep trying to justify it and have people marching and praying and marching and praying and dying and marching and praying, dogs sick on them, getting beat up, thrown in jail and everything on fraud law. But people honor them and they're working for Rome to keep you passive while you get raped. Meanwhile, most of them are masons and getting paid Get the point? Now that's the real truth. It's uncomfortable, but it's the truth. You handle it or don't, but it's still the truth. The truth's not always beautiful is what it is. It's just that our people keep thinking overseers ended. In 1865, they did not. They were given the title of preachers and reverence. It's true. Don't get mad. Don't think that everybody got those titles of bad people because they're not. You understand what I'm saying? But it doesn't remove the fact of what that title was presented for. To keep the natives from getting restless. Get the point? 
That's why they get a 501c3 and don't pay taxes to Rome because their job is to pet you on your head when you get a little riled. Jesus is coming. Oh, all right, take my money. Don't get grandmom's house to myself. Give it to the church, you know, and that's what's been going. Now we have nothing. Thanks to them. Just read the chapter of Job if you want to understand you. That's why I call it job. Now you ain't got no job, Job. And it's getting ready to get deeper. Question, go ahead. Make it loud enough for people to hear. Make it loud enough for the people to hear because I can't, the fans on. You were nowhere in the Constitution. You must understand the Constitution is a contractual agreement for European companies, corporations to operate within the Moorish Empire. This is why they were under protection of Sultan Sidi Muhammad, which you'll see in evidence in George Washington's papers that they don't publish in school. You understand? And then you recognize in the Treaty of 18, 1787 ratified, and then the first draft of this new Republic Constitution ratified 1787. Correlation of time. Go ahead. Make it loud enough. Yes, you are, you, but you must understand your position. Your position is the sovereign authority. Do you understand? We, the people of the United States, in order to make a form, form a more perfect union, do what? We authorize, affirm, right? Allow, granted, etc. This Constitution for the United States of America. It's two different entities. But most people don't read and can't read. You understand? And so therefore, when you see those two seals on the back of that note, most people look at the bird and never pay attention that there's a pyramid there. That ain't wrong. And it's under your nose. I mean, it's not hidden, but is that you don't know the real history. You, you're looking from European eyes. You, you understand what I'm saying to you? You're not charged with fault. It's, a, it's, it's, it's um, by default of you being educated by the very people who robbed your birthright. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? And we keep assuming that we were educated because we got a degree and stick it on a wall. You're trained like animals. You understand? And, and it's, it's not beautiful, but it's the truth. Accept it. And then work for, to fix it. You understand what I'm saying to you? This is why it's important for people to know, even when you dig into the records, that they didn't hide. That they'll tell you that you'll see that, that they, didn't draft, they didn't draft up that Constitution. They adopted it. Because it didn't originate with them. As a matter of fact, we taught them masonry up in, 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 in Amsterdam, which you call New York right now, which is Amsterdam. In the longhouses, where you get the word lodge from, that they use in masonry, in Shriners, in the secret societies. Taught them government. That's why all of them have fesses. You understand what I'm saying to you? And all of them wear jewels, like in ancient... Hikupta, that you call Egypt, with a pyramid on it. They're imposters acting as the real sovereign, which has been overthrown, which is you. You understand? That's why they don't deport our people. They just build jails because they can't deport you because you're home. But that's part of what is known as the Masonic secret. But mentally, the people are disassociated with their inheritance. They're looking elsewhere when they're standing on their vast estate and paying Romans to even move across their own land. Do you understand that's what's called birthright theft? 
Now Rome knows that the time will come that when you would be waking up. And so their job as a beast is to devour the nation when it's first born. When you first start waking up, they're going to try to destroy you. They're going to try to crush you. Don't get up mad. Understand that that's what's going to happen. So therefore, you must be really diligent at this time because this is a, an apex time wherein you will either be free or you will be de devoured. And I'm not saying it to, to, to scare you, but that's the political reality. It is indeed the political reality. The implied agreement by which they are agree, which they are projecting all of their instruments that they have placed around the world for drafts on accounts that they've created in your name, which is what they've called the straw man, to maintain this. Nations of the earth are discarding them, which which is making them broke. Which is why they're having a real estate problem, because you're the real estate. But they're presenting the argument that is these houses out here only. And so if you don't have a background, you don't see this. Because you're blinded by miseducation. Are you clear? So if the body of the people are, are walking around marching and praying and having rallies and meetings talking about racism, they're misplugged. They're burning energy, but it's totally wasted. No different than running on a treadmill. Oh, they feel good. Their heart is pumping, so they think they're spiritual. However, they're blind. This is why the Bible says, relative to these things in this time, that the blind are leading the blind. It's only referring to the, the real so-called leaders who claim to be Judah and are not and leading these people in the name of freedom and won't tell them the truth that they're not free. That they've been bureaucratized under the 14th Amendment. And as long as they agree to, have, to, to bear the name or the mark of the beast, they're under the 14th Amendment, which is an implied agreement, which is the power of attorney by which they are operating in the municipal governments, state governments, and federal governments. Are you clear? So the, the issue is, where's the remedy? You see? Certainly the remedy is reasons and morals and ethics, isn't it? And we usually run there, don't we? But without the honor of your mothers and fathers, it doesn't belong to you. Because you yourself have denied it. Ignorantly, but you still denied it. This is why they spent so much time burning books. Do you understand? These are strategies. They're strategy realities. Now I'm going to read to you from the military manual the strategy that they have for your time of waking up. And it's called the King Alfred Plan, Rex 84 Plan, which is extended now to Homeland Security, etc., etc. All of these come back to the Pontifex, into Catera Divina, and the Treaty of Verona, all the way back to 1213. So when you're thinking, you know, slave history in 1865, your concept is totally wrong. The necessity of secret societies is to keep this dimensional knowledge vivid at all times for rulers, but not those who are subject. Are you clear? This is why Masons, Eastern Star, Knights Templars, Shriners, will not reveal the secrets, because if they do, these institutions will collapse overnight. Why? Because it's built on your blind faith. Are you clear? It means you've been given a body of knowledge to believe in, which is based in falsehood, with a little truth mixed in it to attract you. 
Just like you put B out there, you put peanut butter.